Okay, this one's for people that have repented. They basically said, Lord, forgive me for my sins. Please come into my heart. I want you to be the Lord of my life. Now, when that happens is when God shows up in your life and starts proving himself to you. That's an exciting time. But you also have to realize we are in a time of um, very, very hurt, afraid people that have no idea what to do. Some don't even want to exist. And as the scripture said, it's darker than it ever has been or ever will be. So you have to learn to survive because if you have that much light coming through you, you're going to attract people. And the scripture says, in the tongue lies the power of life and death. So you have to realize when you speak to someone, there's an exchange of power. You can be giving out your positive, your preaching, your uh, Jesus loving them through you. And then they can be saying something else and there's an exchange there. You'll walk away feeling like they felt. They'll walk away feeling like you felt. So what I had to teach myself <clears throat> is how to avoid people without offending them too bad. So I walk around with earbuds. And this will usually keep people from speaking to me because people can speak to you and delay you from getting where you're supposed to be and a lot of people don't like to hurt people's feelings well you got to learn how to do that because you are surviving you need to learn to thrive but first you have to survive you have to be trying to please god every day and be where he wants you to be because he just wants you to be there because he has surprises and gifts and love waiting for you so <clears throat> I usually just walk past people unless because God always has people he wants me to talk to and I need to make sure I catch them at the right moments because then it's um, way past the point of coincidence and then I say what God tells me to tell them so that avoids the transfer of power I maintain my light and then I give it to the people that are trying and then I don't end up feeling like the people around me, which is not disrespectful to anyone, but addiction breeds conversation, which is self-defeating, depressing, sometimes angry, a lot of times fearful. All these things that no child of God needs to experience. 80% of the time you should have joy and peace. So as it's dark, the ability to experience your joy and peace has increased for the children of God. But you got to learn to block out negative things. And then I have um, K-Love playing. I highly advise you get the K-Love app. And I have uh, the Bible. And there is more to life than church. But you also have to let God set up your life for you the people in your life true friends true brothers and sisters that you guys can share light and feed each other so that's how to survive right now and thrive so then all god has to do is make something appear in your life come through for you you have your joy your peace and your faith increases that god is always in control and loves you and you feel protected which is the goal all right i love you